Yeah, um, I as Zimbabwe remember we have been knocked out of um, uh, the, 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 the qualifying rounds. I mean, now we 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 be saying to the guys, let's go and improve from where we last uh, uh, came came out when we were playing our last two half and hopefully qualifying for the for the quarter final. So our main job here is to qualify first so that we can go to, to the quarter final. Yeah, um, yeah, if you can see maybe the days that we have been training, last time we had two days of training when we started. Uh, very, very, very splendid in everything that we were doing to some of the the attitude very good. And we broke and we came, we came back again yesterday in the evening. We trained one day and today again hit all the boys in, in, in camp. Uh, and again, they were, they were, it was a high intensity training and you would see maybe the way they were performing it shows they, they need to, to go and do something better for us in, in Africa. Yeah, I'm so now possibly this afternoon you'll be around. You'll be around, we've been communicating with him. Yeah, um, again, uh, on my side, remember, I've been having problems maybe in terms of the days of training session. We were still assessing some of the players, and until today, we, we haven't yet received a uh, uh, Musona. But we hope maybe if you finish off everything, and uh, I, we hope Mr. Gisela will, will, will advise everyone to come here for, for the press uh, conference. We understand your camp is still mad by logistical challenges, especially accommodation and allowances. All those issues have not been resolved. Maybe if you could just update us, what's the status regarding all those things? Yeah, I think on, on that issue, uh, we have uh, the manager. I think he can, he can manage on that. I, as a coach, I'm doing my job in the field, like you saw today. Uh, yeah, everything at the field is OK. We, we're doing it all right. Yeah, uh, in football, uh, if you go with a name, maybe you talk of a name, a big name, of course, uh, you will falter. But again, in football, if you do your things right, you train well, uh, you do, I mean, everything positive, attitude okay. I think I don't see any big name when, when we play. But we hope uh, we have our own uh, players. We don't have uh, that chance maybe of going to play uh, in Europe. But again, this is the chance for these boys to go and showcase that still. We have the confidence, we have the talent, and I think they will showcase themselves very well. Yeah, uh, I think maybe we had uh, 31, 31, 31 guys who were in camp, and we were like one, one of us maybe said we have problems of logistics. Then we had to trim uh, the squad to 26, and we left with 26 guys whom we are supposed to, to finalize the to final 23. And we are going on. Yeah, uh, gone home, stand in love. We have talent, uh, Chawapiwa. We have um, um, Chitio. And uh, I, can't, I can't remember some of the names now. And I think uh, Coutinho, yes. And the last one is. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, ah, Walter, Walter, no, 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 Walter wasn't there in the third one. But I think uh, the other name, uh, Matthew Rizik, yeah, uh, he had a problem, he had gone to, I mean, he has gone to, to, to New Zealand. Uh, he has contra, uh, contract issues with this. I remember he was uh, changing the club from where he was, going to a new club in Tunis. So he went to for medicals to sign a contract. Is he coming back? Yeah, he's coming back tomorrow camp there's issues of allowances and accommodation and things like that but it's ongoing negotiations with the players and the relevant people in Zifa that matter a position hasn't been finalized yet we hope soon that it should be finalized with regards to accommodation Zifa have made it clear that the camping for this accommodation would be at the Zifa village the players went there, they inspected it and they were not happy. And as an individual, the players themselves collectively then saw it fit to engage their own well-wisher or well-wishers to try and see where they can get comfortable, better accommodation than the village because they feel going into this campaign they need to prepare mentally, physically. Uh, although there's nothing really wrong with the village, 
but they just feel it's not up to their standards. So Zifa and the players are still engaged in discussions on where next best they could go to, uh, depending on resources and budgets from Zifa. So currently, where are they camped? Currently, they are camped at another hotel where the well-wisher had arranged or stepped in from yesterday. For how long, we don't know yet.